Well, I've always loved amphibians and reptiles, and I think they are very misunderstood. When I was eight years old, I started taking classes from a herpetologist named Mr. George Heinrich. I also started going to frog listing workshops. I had always thought that frogs were really cute, but I was learning that frogs aren't only cute, but that they're also super helpful to our world because they're an indicator species and they help us to know about the health of the environment. I wanted to help others learn about what I was learning. So I started giving frog presentations, giving, setting up frog booths, and hosting nature videos. Frogs, like other amphibians, are facing a lot of problems, but there are many simple things that ordinary people can do to help. So basically, when we are saving frogs, we save the environment. Isn't Avalon great, by the way? Let me give you some other examples. In addition to Avalon, uh, there's a young man in the South Bronx in New York who builds skateboards and is designing an eco-friendly skateboard park. And at the same time, his friends are helping him make skateboards. They are having seminars about how kids can help the world. There's a young man who's invented a solar lantern that is now being used in villages in East <coughs> Africa that's energy efficient. There's a, a young woman who is developing sustainable farming techniques. There's uh, another girl who uh, calls herself Earth Saver in Georgia and who is going around to schools and auditoriums and inspiring other kids to help do their part to help save the environment. These are all kids in just this year's batch, but if you want to meet some more, simply go to baronprize.org, our website, and click on Meet the Winners and scroll down through these lists of kids and I promise you it'll renew your hope.